Hey everybody and welcome to Zero Toxie, my vlog. Uh, just a couple things that I wanted to keep you guys in the know about, about my life, the channel, stuff like that, because you guys are like the most important part of this whole experience. So uh, I feel like there's a couple things that you want to know. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is Dark Souls 2. My Dark Souls 2 Let's Play is getting like the least amount of views out of anything on my channel, so it's getting the axe. Really sorry for those of you who are enjoying it, but it's, it's just not getting enough attention for me to want to keep it around. Also, it's kind of not very enjoyable uh, because I'm really bad at it and it's a lot more fun when I do it in like a stream setting. So it's just not as much fun to do by myself. I feel like that's a game that I want like people around for to give me uh, advice on the fly. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to wait for comments. I don't want to wait for stuff like that. And uh, I think that it will be less enjoyable to you guys too if I keep doing it. As opposed to the things that I'm doing that people seem to really be enjoying, like the Magicite Let's Play and the Let's Nostalgia revamp that I've done, uh, those seem to be doing really well. And so those are definitely going to be sticking around for a while at least. Um, so I thought that you should definitely know that. Also, I'm really sorry about the lack of videos lately. There hasn't been very many at all. Like, I've been, I've been really slacking off on them, but that's because me and Michael have been looking at places in... Chicago to move to and uh, time is kind of of the essence here and it's not something that I'm gonna go into but like but it's it's definitely an emergency move now kind of situation and um, so yeah it was like I had to get a really fast backlog going and I had to just like release a video a day basically because I didn't have time to get enough done to release more than that basically uh, and while we're moving, like right now, as you can see, I'm still in, in my old office. Uh, I'm going to be moving very soon, uh, as soon as possible. We Everything is really up in the air right now. We're like, we're totally at a loss. We have no idea what's what's to come, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. And like, we're fine, so don't worry about us or anything. Um, but there might be some real inconsistencies in videos in the coming weeks and for that I apologize I'm really sorry I'm gonna get a bunch of work done tonight though so uh, you can definitely look forward to hopefully regular viewing for the next few days hopefully hopefully um, but I will be working a lot these these coming days so that I can get plenty of content out to you until we have to move and then we'll figure that out as it goes so I just thought that you should be in the know about that as well um so what I wanted to do like I know that this, this was super short this is like all I had to tell you guys so what I decided I'm gonna do right now is uh, we, I had a Q&A on on Twitter I had people send me questions that they'd like me to answer so I am going to answer those questions right now let me get them up here um, give me just a second to get this sorted out here. All right, I have a bunch of questions here. And uh, forgive me if I slaughter any of these names because I probably will. Um, but the first one that I have is Dre Jeffrey Leesky or uh, at crazy like Fox 13. Uh, this isn't a question, but I really appreciate how honest you are about your personal issues and helping others seek help. Uh, yeah, of course. Like, <laughs> there's, I don't, I don't feel like there's any reason why that shouldn't happen with all YouTubers and people that that are reached out to. You should always be there for people. It's just, you should never ever miss an opportunity to be kind. You should never let a compliment go unspoken. You should never ever let a good deed go undone. So, <laughs> if if you ever have the opportunity to help somebody, I really hope you take it. It's just, it's what you do. And uh, it's like, I guess it kind of sounds like I'm on a high horse right now, but. This is just the way I was raised. If you, if you know somebody who needs help and you're able to provide that help to them, you just do it. So uh, thanks for the appreciation, I guess, but I feel that it is unnecessary. Um, Liam, uh, or Nerd Chrome, at Swingaroo, uh, as Iridoxy, are you and Mike planning on getting married and having kids? P.S. Maybe do the talk vid with him. Uh, that is not something that we have really talked about in length. <laughs> We've only been together for a few months, but uh, we are very happy together. There's no, uh, no like turmoil in the relationship or anything, so everything is going great. I love him a whole lot. He loves me a whole lot, and it feels really good. Um, Owen Bell at Owen Bell Twenty Zero Doxy. Do you like the smell of farts? Big Red NY at Big Ed Red NY. Red, oh, Big Red NY. I can't. I can't talk. 
sorry, Big Red NY at Big Red NY. At Zero Doxy, question, chicken or beef? Chicken. I like chicken a whole lot. Not that I don't love beef. Beef is great. It's really, really good. But I really love chicken. If, if I had my way, I would have, like, turkey with every meal, though. I really love turkey. Turkey is my fave. Um, Dean Cuddy and Prescription Pixel both ask, how do you keep your hairs so beautiful? In all caps. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm missing out on like some sort of meme or something here, but I do take really good care of my hair. I use a boar bristle brush, and uh, I don't I don't blow dry it until it's like almost all the way dry already. And I put the proper oils and stuff in my hair. I used to do a dry shampoo, or a dry shampoo. I used to do shampoo free, which was really really good for my hair, but uh, then I stopped because I'm the worst. But it's really good for your hair. If you are interested in shampoo free, you should definitely, definitely take a look at it. There's all kinds of information on YouTube or like you can Google it. There's there's all kinds of information available to you with uh, things you can do. My, my one piece of advice is don't fucking put vinegar in your hair. Uh, just no, don't do that. Don't do that. What you want to do is use products that are available to you. Uh, just look out for sulfates. Don't use sulfates. Those are bad for your hair. Look for sulfate-free shampoo and products. Uh, okay, and then where are we? Intimacy tactics or at... I can't... I can't pronounce that. I'm really sorry. Uh, as your doxy, big question. How do you feel about the changes in your life in the past year or so? <sighs> Positively really positively I uh, just over a year ago started doing twitch and then a year ago in like April I think I started doing YouTube and it has been the best thing that has ever happened in my life and I like I I can't I can't express how much I love it how how very very happy I am um, Peter Alcock at Aussie 620 I hope I said that right. Uh, as your doxy, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, that's a really hard one. Me and Mike really like to watch scary movies together, and like I've always been huge on scary movies and scary games and stuff like that. And uh, or, well, I mean, I used to like to watch other people play scary games. Now I do it for you guys, which is terrifying and horrible. But I do it because I love you, and I know you guys like it. Uh, anyway, I really like scary movies. I think the scariest movie I've ever seen is The Exorcist, and I know that that's super clear but seriously the the first time I saw that movie I was like nine years old and I was spending the night at a friend's house her name is Kira she's really awesome uh, still still really like that girl to this day uh, but anyway I was seeing the night at, at her house because she lived really close to me and her dad was the one that was watching us and he let us watch The Exorcist and I remember that night I was on the couch everybody else was in bed I just stared at the dark ceiling for nine hours well probably not nine hours for, but like overnight I didn't sleep at all while everybody else was sleeping and as soon as it got light out and like people started to get up I just I just walked home I it was I didn't sleep at all I was so scared on the couch for hours and hours and hours just with my eyes wide open looking up the ceiling like holding the blanket up just like am I gonna get possessed by the devil is the couch shaking right now it was it was a very scary movie um probably in terms of like creativity uh, I don't know. I really like a bunch of super cheesy movies that just have a lot of creative stuff in them, like 13 Ghosts or Saw or Final Destination. I love watching people get fucked up in lots of creative, weird ways. I, that, it's terrible, but I do. I do. I'm sorry. I like it. If you get murdered in a weird way and I get to see it, chances are I'm going to be pretty hyped. I mean, like, I'll be really sad that you died or whatever, but I'll be like, did you fucking see that? Anyway, I, I don't mean that. I would probably be really traumatized. Uh, Sean Stevens at Sean Tradles as your doxy. What's your all-time favorite game per system if you prefer? Um, this one is really hard. I have a lot of really favorite games, and like, and I can't. I honestly can't choose one. I remember my first very favorite game that I ever had that like changed the way I feel about video games was Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation 1. That game is so good and I play it still all the time and I plan on doing it for Let's Nostalgia sometime because that game is just so fucking good. Like it's I, I was never huge into Final Fantasy because I played Legend of Dragoon first and I just feel like it's better. 
you can you can sue me or crucify the witch or whatever you gotta do, but I Legend of Dragoon far superior to any of the Final Fantasy games at the end. Uh Zach Soares at YTB Crazy says, Zero Doxy, if you could time travel, what century and location would you like to live in? This one, now. Period. I'm happy where I'm at. Uh, I would love to go see the future, um, but I would want to come back. I'm pretty positive. Um, especially if I got hold of like some plans for some crazy invention that I could bring back in time and invent myself. But that would actually, I probably wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to steal that from somebody else. I don't know. Just want to think about uh, McD's LPs at Zero Doxy. Ever dress the cats up in outfits? No, no, I don't. They would not allow me to do that. Fucking, we had Sparta in this huge Elizabeth. I can't pronounce it, but one of those big collars uh, because she got her. She got fixed. And uh, it, it just made me so sad the whole time. I just felt so bad for it. And I don't think I would ever put them in outfits, even if they were okay with it, just because I, it's silly and constrictive. And I don't think that they would like it. Um, Kellen at Kildud3. As Zero Doxy, do you prefer Binding of Isaac or Our Darker Purpose? Neither. I love them both so fucking much. And they are really different. Like, obviously... Obviously... The Binding of Isaac had a lot to do with uh, how Our Darker Purpose was made. Like, it was heavily influenced, obviously. But the games are really different. They, like, you... It's really hard to explain. You unlock things, and... You unlock things in The Binding of Isaac, too, though. But, like, you unlock things that you can use from the beginning. In Our Darker Purpose, there's more of a story there. Uh, it's a lot longer. I don't know. I, I feel like it's really different. I feel like the enemies are very different. I feel like the boss fights are very different. I feel like it's just two completely different games. It's apples and oranges. Both fruits, but still different. Okay, where are we at here? Warp Pipe Gaming, as your doxy, what screen recorder do you use? I use OBS for everything. I use it to stream, I use it to record, I use it for fucking everything. It is a godsend, and I love it, so here's looking at you, OBS. Um, Jeffrey Lysky, Lysky again, at Crazy Like Fox 13. All right, what led you to decide to do Let's Plays? Uh, mostly angry video game nerd. Like, one of the biggest celebrity crushes I ever had. I fucking love that guy. Uh, and I, like, I remember seeing him do that and being like, I could do that. And then, like, and then all of a sudden, Let's Plays were a thing. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm fucking doing it. I could do this. So, uh, definitely not as good as AVGN or any of the other people that I totally super look up to. Like, Minx, uh, Northern Lion, Green 9090. I'm not, I'm not as good as my friends. Uh, but I, I still like doing it and it's I don't know it's very fulfilling for me um where are we at here Dale 619er at Dale 619er Zero Doxy what are your favorite video game genres I'm gonna say RPGs and shooters and whatever fucking Isaac our darker purpose is qualified as if I say roguelike I feel like I'm gonna get like stoned to death or something do Cat Arena as tall at Cat as tall at Zero Doxy. What's the biggest regret of your life and best moment? The biggest regret of my life is not finishing high school. Uh, I really wish that I would have done that. I wish I would have done that, and I wish I would have gone to college, and I wish I'd have had like a backup plan for my life. Uh, but that's it's too late. Can't change the past. Uh, best moment meeting Mike Malbec for the first time. Best moment of my whole life. Um. Dale 619er, also sorry for the second question, but what places would you love to travel to the most for a holiday vacation? I would like to visit Prescription Pixel, because she is great. And I would also love to visit Green 9090. Uh, even though California, like I've been to California a hundred times and like I don't, I don't care that much about California, I would go there to hang out with him because I love him and he is one of my best friends. Um, and Pixel lives in Australia, so that's like a double bonus because I would love to go to Australia for sure. Um, and I would love to go to the UK just because like I've always wanted to and like anywhere in Europe and everywhere. I want to go everywhere. That's the answer to that. I, wa I would go fucking everywhere for a holiday vacation. But I think first top of the list would probably be either going to go see Green 9090 or Prescription Pixel. Um, Sean Stevens at Sean Tradles. 
Cyrodoxy, how did you meet Manga Meeks and the crew? Uh, through a wonderful man named Ohm Wrecker, who is just the coolest dude ever. Uh, he's actually, he's a super, super huge influence on, like, everything I do all the time. Anytime I ever have a, a question or a problem or anything, I go straight to Ohm Wrecker. He is one of the coolest dudes. At, like, I don't know, I just, I love being close to Ohm Wrecker. He's really, really cool. He's super silly and fun. And, like, he doesn't make me feel like a stupid idiot when I ask stupid idiot questions. And, and he provides lots of opportunities for me that I wouldn't otherwise get just because he's a really good friend and somebody who really likes to help other people out and it's he does me he does help me out fucking don't take that one to the bank or anything but he helps me, he helps me out all the time and he's just one of the best friends that anybody could ever ask for um and same person asks what's your favorite let's play you've done uh really proud of my binding of isaac let's play I really like it, but probably my favorite video I've ever done was Don't Drink and Starve. I, like, I remember waking up the next day just like, oh, my God, what the fuck did I do? And, like, checking YouTube, and, then like, all the feedback was positive, and then I watched it later when I got back from work, and I was just like, okay, it's actually kind of funny, I guess, and I love that I named it Don't Drink and Starve. Like, what an idiot. I'm a big dork. All right, uh, and Nico Gorman at Director Snap says, do you have another job? What do you do besides YouTube? I do not have another job right now. Uh, once I got here, the plan was always to move to Chicago. So we, Mike and I decided that we would rather just spend more time together so that I could focus on YouTube and my relationship with him. Uh, and then once we got to Chicago, I could get something. So once we get to Chicago, I'll probably get another waitressing job. That's just the way it goes. Uh, all right, and then where are we? We only have a couple left. We've got... Oh, uh, John Wagner, or Commodore KD, or CKD, as I like to call him. Um, top five favorite games of all time. No, 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 no. But um, I, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I can't. Like, I just can't. Uh, Legend of Dragoon. I'm just going to name the first five that come to my head. Legend of Dragoon, Left 4 Dead, Binding of Isaac. Uh, uh, I'm just, like, completely brain farted. Call of Duty. Like, I'm going to be on Black Ops 1 or 2. I like those both a whole lot. I love Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. Um... What is worthy? Oh, fucking Ocarina of Time, obviously. Why didn't I think of that super earlier? Okay, and then Ian Matheny at Aquarian MM. Uh, as your doxy, why did you decide to do Let's Play Twitch? Because I felt like I would be good at it. I have a broadcasting voice. I like video games, and I laugh a lot. And I'm like, it's super easy for me to make fun of myself. And, like, I just know that I'm a big dork, and I like to get along with people, and it works out. Uh, and I think that's everything. That's everything. That's all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. I love you guys a million so much. Like, you don't even know. I wish I could hug every single one of your butts and heads and torsos and just hug you and hug you and touch your butts. That's what I want to do. Because <laughs> I love you a lot. Thank you so much for watching. You should check out my sidebar where my friends' YouTube channels are listed. And you can also follow me at Twitch or Twitter. Um, where you will find the descriptions. You, no, no. You'll find the links in the description below. That is what you will find. And where you'll find it. Jeez Louise, this is your doxy. I love you a million. And I am out.